If not for what they did, my nephew would be dead right now. Also, support continues to pour in from across the country. Hamlin has started a holiday toy drive. It is now being flooded with donations, raising more than $6 million so far. Yesterday, it was just at $4 million. Fans gathered also in Buffalo and Cincinnati holding vigils and prayer rallies. And local sports medicine experts continue to talk about the importance of having emergency protocols. Maya May talked with the University of Toledo, a sports physicians, to find out how local sports are impacted by what happened Monday night. Um, you know, we're with them day in and day out through the highs and lows. And, uh, for, for my staff, sometimes the award or the pat on the back comes uh, from seeing that student athlete that, was, that had a significant injury get back on the court and excel in the sport and do what they love. Brian Jones is in his 25th season with the University of Toledo, overseeing 17 sports. He says what happened during Monday's NFL game highlights what to do in an emergency. That is the key to responding to an emergency is practicing. He believes everyone on the court or field should be assigned to a certain duty. So I'm going to be able to start that process and immediately do a, a, an initial evaluation, but then I may need one of my coaches or someone else to notify and call 911 and initiate that process. He says whenever a contact sport is played, there should be someone CPR certified nearby. He says the university has 13 certified athletic trainers who attend every game. The good thing about our staff is all of our facilities, all of our staff, our, 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 our sports are covered by a certified athletic trainer that is certified in not only CPR but also AED and so are our coaches. Health experts say people on the field in Cincinnati were prepared to act fast. They add sports physicians are trying to also prevent medical emergencies and it starts with testing and looking into family history. We try to screen all the athletes for heart problems. You know, we do physicals. All the athletes at the University of Toledo get EKGs. And that's probably the most important thing you can do. In Toledo, Maya May for WTOL 11.